Hey guys, this is Eddie and this is another edition of On Board. Today I'm going to go over how I do thermostats in my boat. Now I do have Merck 260s, the fuel injection. Uh, my thermostats need to be 160. I would check your owner's manual, see what you need, or simply pull out the thermostat first, make sure you got the right size thermostat. If you buy the kit, it's going to come with the plastic grommet, the seals, and the thermostat. So this is awesome. I got mine on Amazon. The part number is 13101. But make sure it's the right one for your boat. Okay, I also got some pitcocks. I got these on Amazon as well. And the reason why I got the pitcocks is because when I went to winterize it, they snapped. So that happens from time to time. And you're gonna have to get out this little piece of plastic that's left in there and make sure the threads are good. So that's why I have the torch. So with the torch and a screwdriver, I'm gonna heat the screwdriver, put it in there once I cut it down with the hacksaw to a flat level. And then I heat it up and I try and get that plastic as much as I can out with this and I'll pick it out with some scribes. I'm going to show you how I do that. Now to get the housing off, you're only going to need two simple tools. It's a 10 millimeter socket, three quarter inch ratchet and a screwdriver. Screwdriver is going to take off three hoses and only two bolts hold the housing on. Okay, once you get the housing off, you're going to have to clean up the surface of the block, use a scraper or a razor scraper. I like this angle one. This thing's my favorite scraper. It works on everything, but it also helps me get the thermostat out. Now, I do have some silicone, so when I put it together, I'm a little old school. I still use silicone. Some people don't recommend that, but this is how I do it. Now, I also have a wire brush, so I can clean everything up, but I also use a whiz wheel. This will help me clean the surface of the block and the housing. Now, once I get everything all cleaned up, I'm going to do some brake cleaner on it, spray it up nice and clean, get all the grease off of it, and I'm going to spray up the housing and any parts of the block that are shown metal so that this way it doesn't get corroded from the salt there. I want to make sure everything's all sealed up. So, uh, I do also have an air hose with an air nozzle to blow off some of the dust. I will use a vacuum, uh, so I have that up on top too as well. So why don't we get this job done? Let's see how we're going to do it. So come on with me. Let's go okay, on board. So Let's obviously I removed the, the air cleaner cover and now this is the thermostat housing. So I'm going to begin to take this out. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to disconnect the hoses and then I'm going to get the 10 millimeter and take off the two bolts that's on there. So first I usually take off the bigger hose which goes right to the water pump. And I'm just going to move it out of the way out once of the I get way. it off, so they're not in your way when you're working. That's what I always do. Now there are two electronics on here. There's a water temperature sensor. And there's this other one over here that is actually, I believe, to do with the fuel and cold start okay, sensor. So now that's all off. We'll get the 10 millimeter. And the thermostat's inside of there. Okay. Get that. And just pull up. It'll come right off. The thermostat's right in here. And so there's a, the plastic grommet that goes in there. And then there's a seal that goes on the outside. So what I'm going to do is clean this all up and try and make sure I don't get anything inside of there. And that's why I got the scrapers and I also have a rag with me so I can try to put that in there so that nothing will fall in. What I'll also do sometimes is get a vacuum and just vacuum everything out just to make sure nothing's in there. Clean that all up. Now remember I was saying about the black paint because sometimes this will peel up probably from the salt there. So I'll just touch that up with the black paint. Okay. So I get the vacuum and I'm just gonna vacuum out any of the debris there. Try to clean it up as good as possible. I'm gonna go inside, make sure I get everything that fell in there out as well. That brake thing is just going to clean everything off before I paint it. I always like to touch up a little bit so that it 
doesn't rust from the salt there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tape over where the thermostat goes. Gonna to touch it up. Connects. With the black enamel engine paint. And you may have to shoot more than one coat on here just to cover everything, make sure it stays good. And you can also paint the housing. Okay, so now we just gotta let this dry. So in the meantime, while this is drying, I might even hit it with a second coat. I'm going to uh, take care of the housing. So I'm gonna go clean out, where is that? There it is, I'm gonna clean it all out. I'm going to take out the pickcock because that thing is messed up right there. So I'm gonna cut it off, I'll show you how to do that. And then uh, my friend said use uh, a torch with a hot screwdriver, it'll spin out. We tried it on the other side, it didn't really work, but maybe it'll work if it's off. So we're gonna bring this to the bench. So let's, uh, let's go to the bench, let's clean this up, put it together, and uh, see what we'll come up with. So with the hacksaw, I'm gonna just cut this kind of evenly. It's just plastic, so it's gonna cut easy. But just be careful when you're cutting it that you don't cut yourself, like I was just about to. All right, so I cut it off flat, and now what I'm going to do is heat up the screwdriver, put it in there, push it in, and then try to turn it out. Heat it up really good. Now, the way that I usually do it is just drill it out. But there is a chance of the drill bit hitting the thread, so you gotta be really careful. Start off small, work your way up bigger and bigger. But let's see if this is a better way. Okay. See, we got it pretty good. A little more in there. I'll just try and get it out with the pick again. Just fell right in. All right, grab my air hose. Here you go. And then we'll try to plug out. Try to plug in. All good. All right, so the plug's all fixed. All good to work next year. I'm just taking out the thermostat. This is why I love this angle scraper. Well, I'm gonna scrape all the gaskets off. Now, in the housing, there is a plastic housing. that holds the thermostat in and lets the water through. It looks like that. And there's a little indent on there that's gonna line up inside of there. I'm gonna show you how you, you take it off. This is why I love this one. You'll take this, stick it under the lip and push up. See? lift up okay remember what I said right there there's a little groove and that's where it lines up I'm going to the thermostat out pop it like that and there's a cork gasket that's under it I'm going to clean this up that looks nice so. and clean just taping this up like this so I could spray paint and it doesn't get on my clean surface where it's got to attach to the engine block and the gasket goes in between. So. Okay, 
now I'll let this dry and then we're gonna go and uh, put it together so we're gonna be taking to care together. of that so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take off the tape on the thermostat housing and the, and the sensors and then I'm going to put the thermostat in now check the specs of the thermostats right for you um, on mine this was the part number so you can see right there and that is 13101 uh, once again I did get this on Amazon now the cork gasket that I was talking about this is going to go in first on the bottom left just like that see it in there okay just like the one I took out always like to check that just like that and now once again remember what I said there's that little piece right there and there's a groove right there and this is just gonna go right in like that and you push it down Remember it's stuck up a little bit, it's the same thing. All right. So I'll continue to put the silicone on after the wind blew everything in, but try not to get it on the grommets because you want to make sure the grommets are still hitting metal. That's the big thing. Okay. All right. All right. So now we are all ready to install this up top. So let's go back into the engine compartment and uh, let's get this job done. Okay, so we're back in the engine compartment. Everything's all dry. So now I'm going to take off the tape. So we're ready to put on back on the housing. Uh, everything looks really good. I do my wind. When the grommets, grommets hit the uh, engine block okay always always start it by hand any bolts anytime you put any bolts in See some of the silicone squeezing out, so I know I'm tight. Get this big hose on first. All right, so that's a uh, that's pretty much how you do the thermostat and how you replace the pitcock if it breaks in there. So I hope this helped you out. I'm going to run the motors, make sure it's working at operating temperature, everything's working correctly. Make sure there's no leaks, that's a big thing. Um, probably going to just spray up these bolts too, make sure they're nice and uh, covered up so okay, they don't guys, rust out at all. We got everything done now. Um, housing's all in, bolts are all tight, hoses are on good. I double checked everything, made sure my sensors are hooked up. Also replaced the pickcock, so that's all good. Now the next thing is to hook up the hose, run the engine, make sure it's working to operating temperature, and above everything, make sure I have no leaks. I'd rather deal with a leak here than in the water. So I hope this video helped you out. Once again, my name is Eddie. We'll catch you next time.